Alrighty ho, guys and gallies, and welcome to the second episode of the July Show. As you all have probably guessed by now, I'm July, and the host of the show. First of all, I just want to say how happy I am that our first episode got 197 views. I mean, I was hoping for higher, but I like that. We'll just take that for now. Hopefully we can, with this next one, we can reach something higher. We got 10 likes and 8 new subscribers. Oh my goodness, y'all. You like crushed our expectations with the subscribers thing. And thank you for helping us reach our goal of 10 likes. So, without further interruption and swooning over likes and fame, on with the show. Let's get this show starting. So, I just want to bring up one thing before we start. Is that this show is only going to have three segments instead of the usual four. Because the last segment's a little bit of a longie. So, yeah. Let's introduce the segments. Our first segment is going to be Henny's Educational Corner. Followed by News Flash. And then finally, Feathered Fairy Tales. Let's get started with a little education from Henny's Educational Corner. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Henny's Educational Corner. As you all know, I'm Henny and host of this segment. Let's look at today's fun fact. And here's the fun fact for this episode. Did you know there's more chickens on Earth than people? It's true! In 2020, it was reported that there were 7.8 billion people total on the Earth. That's a lot of people. However, there are 250 billion chickens worldwide, way more than you humans. We shall rule supreme! Shh, July. <laughs> we're not going to conquer the world. <laughs> we're not doing anything like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us on this edition of Henny's Educational Corner. Back to you, July. Thanks, Henny. And now, on to our second segment, News Flash. Welcome, viewers, to the first installment of News Flash, starring me. Now, for our top story of the day. Two weeks ago, Wade Duck from the coop was attacked by a nearsighted hawk and tried to grab him. Don't worry, Mom, Wade is fine. But the result ended up putting all of us back in the coop and no more yard time. The police say the hawk has had a crime record of other murder and is wanted for $250, dead or alive. Make sure to keep your eyes open for this one, peeps. Now, a word from the eyewitnesses about this incident. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We all feel for you. Especially you, Wade. Now for our next big story. Our next big story is, well, a little more personal. Just recently, I was diagnosed with Bumblefoot, a disease that makes big socks under my feet, which contain ickies. Since we couldn't afford an operation, Farm Girl and Mrs. Farm Girl decided to try to take them off themselves. First, they soaked my feet in warm water to soften up the black plugs on the bottoms of my feet that contained the ickies. It was for like 10 to 20 minutes, but it was really nice actually, it was like a spa. Second, they carefully removed the plugs, and then finally, they bandaged me up and I went on my way. Now for our final story of the segment. 
our final story is probably going to change the show immensely. A couple of months ago, we hired some new co-stars for the show. Dixie Chicken, formerly from Souter, Iowa, and a group called The Chicks were hired for child relations and cuteness. Barf. Our producers took a little time to interview them yesterday. Let's see what they had to say. Ooh, a camera! Interview me! No me! No me! No me! No me! No me. me! No me! I like you! Hello, Please camera! Me. What are you mad? Camera! camera. Interview me! Please interview me! No oh, me! No, no. no me! Yeah, anyway, so Mabel's been getting kind of cocky thinking she's so cool because she's been hanging top shelf with all the olders. So much for friendship. Can you interview me, please? Okay. Hi! I'm sweetie. So, technically, we didn't interview them. All they did was just swoon over the camera. Except for Marzipan. <sighs> she gives me the TV cheapies. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on News Flash. Now back to me. Thanks, me. And now it's time for our last segment, the grand finale, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for Fit and Fairy Tales. Greetings, viewers, and welcome to Fit and Fairy Tales. I am Augie, your storyteller, and today I'm going to be reading a story entitled Cinder Chicken. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinder Chicken. Hello! She served her stepmother. This was a scratchy! July, the show's starting. Sorry. Anyway, she served the stepmother and stepsisters. Hello! Hello! Cinder Chicken did all the chores in the house. Wait, what chores? Hmm, well, let's see here. She did the laundry, cooked the meals, washed the dishes, tended the garden, the big garden, milked the cow, did the- Okay, okay, I think they get it, Augie. Okay, moving on. She lived in the attic and only slept on a bed of rocks. Not the most comfortable bed, I assure you, but it works. Her only friends were the fleas and bats that lived in the attic with her. Even they bossed me around. Hurry up, Snow Chicken! Let me that head! Okay, okay, I'm hurrying! One day, a royal decree went out from the king of the land that all eligible single hands were invited to attend a royal ball in which his son would choose a bride. A stepmother and stepsisters took the news reasonably well. I could be a princess. Oh, Mother, can we go? Can we go? Of course, my dears. Can I come too? Why would you come, Cinder Chicken? Yeah, you're only a servant. Well, after all, I am your sister, and last I checked, I was pretty eligible. She is right, you know. Wait, really? Wait. Wait. Really? really? Yes, but she must finish her chores and find something suitable to wear to the ball. Oh, thank you, Stepmother. Really, you won't regret it. No, you won't. Oh, thank you, Stepmother. In addition to your chores, here's a few extra chores I want you to do. Wait, what? Ow. Um, Stepmother? Are you sure this isn't Santa's list? Stop joking your mouth, Cinder Chicken, and go start your chores! Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. After a long day of chores, Cinder Chicken wearily returned back to her room. I'm so tired, even this bed looks comfortable. Hey, Cinder Chicken, go over here! What is it, Leroy and Russ? Something for you, Cinder Chicken. Give you the montage, fellas. What? They made the dress with care and love, so that its blue silk sparkled like the stars above. 
Cindy Chicken loved the dress and all, but alas, the dress was three sizes too small. Surprise! We made it extra large just for you! Three sizes? That's more like ten. Need some help? Who in the world are you? I'm your fairy godmother. I grant you wishes and that stuff. Dress in large, bippity boppity boo. <laughs> there you go, dear. Oh my goodness, thank you, fairy godmother. Wait a second. Why do I have glass shoes? I don't need glass shoes. Important props is a story. Oops, I gotta go. Make sure to be back by 12 or the magic will wear off. See ya! Thank you, fairy godmother! Now, how am I going to get to the ball? Uh, anybody know how to call a taxi? Well, son, why don't you go ask one of those lovely young hens over there to dance? <sighs> Gee, Dad, I don't really know any of them. Uh, excuse me? Did you guys know that you ran out of toilet paper? Wow! So, uh, do you want to get married? Sure. I'm not busy. Oh my goodness, it's midnight. I gotta go. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Wait a second. If they say the shoe fits Cinderella so perfectly, then how come it fell off? Just keep running, Cindy Chicken. Fine. <laughs> Phew. I wonder who that could be. Yes? Uh, did you happen to see a beautiful girl with a blue dress walk into your room? Uh, nope. Can't say I have. Oh, I guess you can have the shoe since I can't find its original owner. Wait, what? You're the girl I asked to marry me? Yep. And the name's Cinder Chicken, if you don't mind. Okay, Cinder Chicken. Do you want to go get married now? I'd love to. And so, Cinder Chicken and her beau were wedded that very night and lived happily. Whatever happened to us? Yeah! yeah. Uh, you guys get banished. Banished to where? Uh, it's never mentioned. Never mentioned? Well, I'll tell you what's never mentioned. My sore back working on the lead script overnight. Oh my goodness sake. I work for it, that lady said it. Thank y'all for watching. Now make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you already haven't. Oh, and also please share this video with other people because we want, we really want lots and lots of people to see it. So, see ya, and catch you on the fly.